prove that they are smarter than a fifth grader. It's that easy. All right, let's meet our class. Marky, Kyle, Jacob, Alana, and Spencer. How are you today, class? Good. Good. You ready to meet your new classmate? Yeah. He is a 43-year-old music equipment salesman who attended Horace Mann Elementary from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, oh, Welcome, yeah. Michael Warren. Come on, kids. Come on. Hi, Hi Michael. Chuck. How are you? Welcome to the show. Thank you. And I'm guessing this is you when you attended Horace Mann Elementary? That's right. That's me. Little kid. Donnie Osmond called and he wants his hair back. <laughs> All right, well, let me introduce you to the rest of our class. These guys are going to be taking the same test that you are taking, and we're going to actually let you cheat off of them during the course of the quiz. I'll tell you a little bit about that later on, but right now, pick one of them. Let's get started. All right, all right. Let's see. They're all so smart. I want Jacob. Jacob, come on. Jacob. Jacob. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, it says here on your uh, card that you're a huge Bruce Springsteen fan. Absolutely. One of the biggest Springsteen fans ever. Have uh, you ever heard of Bruce Springsteen? No. <laughs> oh! Oh! What team does he play for? Hey, no, he doesn't play for a team. He's not... <laughs> It's the boss. Come on, it's the, the boss. I thought you were the boss. He yeah. thought I was the boss. Uh, <laughs> All right. No homework. Well, let me tell you how this game works, Michael. On the board, you're going to see 10 subjects. They range from first grade through the fifth grade. You can select them in any order you like. Your first correct answer is worth $1,000. The 10th correct answer is worth $500,000. Yeah! That's what I'm talking about. We're going to get that. Once you answer all 10 of these questions correctly, we're going to give you another question. It's a grade school question. It will be worth $1 million. $1 million. $1 million. Mm. Now, Michael, if at any point the test gets to be too difficult, you can drop out of school. You can take the money that you've won. You can run. But before you run, you got to promise me you're going to look into that camera and tell the world, I am not smarter than a fifth grader. We got oh, a deal? We got a deal. We got, we a, got deal. a deal. Let's find Hope out, is Michael it. Warren yeah. smarter than a fifth grader? OK, I am going to take. First grade social studies. First grade social studies. All right, Michael, the $1,000 question is, Irving Berlin wrote what patriotic anthem that contains the words, stand beside her and guide her? Irving Berlin mm. wrote what patriotic anthem okay. that contains the words, stand beside her and guide her? Now, I told you your classmates could help you. Let me tell you how. You have two cheats. You can peek off of their paper once during the game, can copy their paper, and you have one save, which means if you're wrong, but your classmate at the podium's right, they save you, and we keep going on down the road. Awesome. Let me think. Now, here. you said you played in a band, right? I did. None of, none of Irving Berlin's material, but. Uh... <laughs> your band never played any Irving Berlin songs. No. no. Your classmate Jacob has locked in his answer. Let me think about this. Stand beside her and guide her. The light from above, from the mountains to the prairies, oceans white with snow. No. Ocean. My country, tis of thee. I'm locking that in. So your answer is, I'm sorry? My country, tis of My thee. My country, tis of thee. Who do you have cheering for you here today? Well, over here we've got my lovely, beautiful wife, Kelly. Hey, Kelly. Your wife is beautiful. You have outpunted your coverage, Michael. <laughs> Thank you very much. Kelly, what do you think? Oh, no. 
You don't, don't you don't right. like the answer. I don't think oh no. <laughs> These four classmates of yours, let's see what they had to say. Irving Berlin wrote what patriotic anthem that contains the words stand beside her and guide her? You said my country tis a thee. Uh-huh. None of them said that. Oh. God bless America. Oh, of Three course. Times. God bless America. How you America. feeling now, Kelly? Embarrassed for him. Embarrassed for him? <laughs> this is ugly. <laughs> you can't put lipstick on a pig, Michael. Oh. <laughs> the oh. correct answer is God bless America. Oh. The only way you stay is if Jacob has God bless America on the very first question <laughs> of the day. <laughs> Otherwise, you flunk out of school on the first question. Oh, jeez. Oh, the no. family name is forever smeared. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Come on, Jacob. <laughs> For $1,000 on the first question of the day, may we please see what Jacob said. America oh! the Beautiful. I feel so bad, so sorry. You remember the deal we had. I do, Jeff. There's the camera. My name is Michael Warren, and I'm not smarter than a fifth grader. Now, Michael, before you leave, your wife, your wife was kind of razzing you a little bit there. Yeah. I, and I have to say this, it's, it's a lot more difficult when you're standing at this podium, isn't it? Yes, it and is. And the light's in your face. Yes, it is. Do, do, you, do you think you could have done better? Well, I would hope so. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Would it be okay if I let Kelly come out of the audience and do this? happen on our show before. Oh. Earlier, Kelly's husband, Michael, flunked out of school <laughs> on the first question uh. with zero dollars. <laughs> you said that you thought you could do better than him. Uh, we I have a good feeling. We brought, well, you can't do a whole lot worse. <laughs> we brought Kelly out of the audience. Michael is now in your seat. But if you flunk out, you have to make the same promise. Okay, gotcha. All right, you're going to look gotcha. into the camera and say the same thing Michael just had to say. Well, actually, I hope I don't. <laughs> Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's, Let's find out is Kelly Warren smarter than a fifth grader? Let's play the game. Pick a classmate, okay, let's get yeah, started. I, I really think Kyle's my guy. Kyle, come on, come on Kyle. up here. How are you, Kyle? Good. That was a pretty fast game, wasn't it? <laughs> oh, yeah, like. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> now, I, I know nothing about you. He, I, I know that, that Michael grew up in Philadelphia. How about you? I grew up in Chicago. Chicago. Psychologist. Uh, what else do you want to know, Jeff? You're a psychologist. <laughs> you're a mom. You've got how old is your daughter? She's 17 months old. 17 months. That's and I a... also have a stepson who's 17. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. All right. Well, I have explained how the how the game works. If you were paying attention three minutes ago, <laughs> on the board there's 10 subjects. You can pick them in any order you like, oh, Kelly. Geez. Pick your first I'm one so and let's get started. Okay. Uh, <laughs> if I can't. If... <laughs> I, I, I would 
think that I should be able to get first grade spelling. First grade spelling. I would think. All right. I know you have not studied for this test. You came here thinking you were going to be cheering from the audience. I feel good about this. I feel good okay. about this. Here we go. Kelly, for $1,000, okay. here's the question. When reciting the English alphabet in order, what is the fourth consonant you'll say? When reciting the English alphabet in order, what is the fourth consonant you'll say? Kyle has locked in his answer. Okay, well, there's A, that's out, and then we have B, C, D, E is out, so then we have F. So I am pretty sure that it's F. You wanna lock that in? I'm locking it in. The letter F, before you go any further, does that letter sound familiar with any report cards, Michael? <laughs> Here's the good news. If that is correct, you are already the better half, all right? Yeah. For $1,000 and the chance to prove that you are smarter than your husband, <laughs> the correct answer is F. <laughs> it is the fourth <laughs> consonant in the alphabet. Care, right? It's going to be a long night. It, uh, <laughs> Hopefully. It, but it's all going in the same checking account, right? Yes. Yes. <laughs> is it all going in the same yes, checking it account? Is, okay. Yes. <laughs> Make sure. All right. Kelly, let's don't stop at a thousand. Oh, let's no, let's no, double no. it no right way. now. Let's all double right. it right now. All right. Okay. Where do you want to go? I think with, I'm going to go for. Second grade world geography. <laughs> Kelly, for $2,000, here is the question. France borders which ocean? A four word question. France borders which ocean? Classmate Kyle has locked in his answer. Okay. You well, get this right, you prove you're twice as smart as Michael. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what well, you thinking? Have you been I, to France? I have been to France, actually. I have been there. And I'm, I, oh, God. I, uh, I, I was thinking, you know, it borders the Mediterranean. I know that. And if it borders any actual ocean, then it's got to be the Atlantic Ocean. Okay. So I am going to lock in Atlantic Ocean. <laughs> I hope it's right. Look at the big board, Kelly. Here is the answer to the question. France borders which ocean? The Atlantic Ocean. You got $2,000. Good work, Kyle. Classmates get to help you. Two questions at a time. Kyle okay, did a great. great job, but it's time to pick another one. Okay, I gotta get my own Marky. Marky, come on up here. All right, Kelly, we're gonna be playing for $5,000 and more humiliation for your husband when we come back. fifth grader. It is a crazy day in this school. We started the show with your husband, right, Michael. Right. <laughs> Michael flunked out on the very first question of the day. Right, I didn't expect that, that's for sure. You guys are telling me you have a new baby daughter, 17-month-old daughter. I have daughters. I didn't want the family to go <laughs> home with nothing. So we asked if I could bring Kelly out the audience, and the producer said, sure, why not? <laughs> and you're already doing well. You're at $2,000. All right. All right. 
This next question is worth five thousand okay. dollars, Kelly. Okay, Pick great. a subject. Well, I think that. Uh, you want I to think ask I'm Michael? gonna go. For $5,000. The question is True or false? Every adult rhinoceros has exactly one horn. Ooh. True or false? Every adult rhinoceros has exactly one horn. Classmate Marky has locked in. It's a chance for the entire family to get out of the first grade. <laughs> what do you know about rhinoceroses? Uh, zero. Zero. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. Okay. Um, I, I'm picturing it, and I'm I'm thinking that maybe they each have one horn, but I just, I, Jeff, I just don't know. I, I Good just... thing is it's true false. You can use one of your cheats. Right. Or you could walk out of here right now with two thousand dollars. Oh no, that's not an option. <laughs> one for you, one for Mike. Everybody's happy. <laughs> okay. I'm going to peek. Peek. The question is true or false. Every adult rhinoceros has exactly one horn. Your classmate Marky said true. Oh, that's what I was going to go with. Okay. I have, uh, I have faith in her. I have a good feeling. I really do. So I think I'm going to have to, uh... Well, hey, before you go any further, I just want to remind you, Michael had a feeling, okay? <laughs> well, the way you would be guaranteed of staying here is to go with the opposite answer of her. And then be safe. You're guaranteed of oh. staying. Oh, Lordy. Um, okay, I... Uh... So maybe I will go with false, and then I'll be saved, and at least I'll get to that geography question that I knew I should have gone for, but I was listening to my husband. So what was I thinking? <laughs> I think if we've all learned anything today, I know, it's... I uh... I know. That alone should get me kicked <laughs> off. <laughs> okay, I am going to go with false. Here we go. <laughs> Because he was the one that said <laughs> to go with the animal science, yes, right? Yes, he did. <laughs> the good news is, the answer is false. Oh! You are right. Two blondes are better than one. We got through that <laughs> with the money, and you still have your save. Excellent. Oh. You got five thousand. Let's double that. Let's okay. turn it into ten thousand. Okay. Pick another subject. All right. So I'm gonna go with what my original thought was: uh, U.S. geography. U.S. geography. <laughs> Third grade. U.S. geography. The $10,000 question is, what state's nickname is the show me state? What state's nickname is the show me state? Nickname is the show me state. I should know this, I should know this. Classmate Marky locked in uh, very show quickly. Me state. I know this. It's it's in here somewhere, Jeff. I just it's uh it's in there somewhere. What state's nickname is the Show Me State? Okay. Right now you've <laughs> got to save a copy. Okay. And an ounce of dignity. <laughs> okay. I think um, I think with this one I'm gonna go with the copy. I mean I have no other choice. So copy. Come on, Marky. Sounds like you're in a state of confusion right now. Let's, let's see what the rest of the class said. What state's nickname is the Show Me State? Illinois, Missouri, M Missouri. I, I, Kyle spells like I do. I love that. <laughs> so you have three Missouris, one Illinois. Missouri is the correct answer. 
It is the show me state. For $10,000, show me what Marky wrote. Missouri! <laughs> All right, pick another classmate, Kel. Okay, I think I'm going with Alana. Alana, come up here. Alana, there's six subjects up here on the board. Which two do you think are your strongest? Social studies and earth science. Social right. studies and earth science. Now, Kelly, you've used both of your cheeks, okay? Pick a subject. Okay. I'm going to second grade social studies. Second grade social studies. And this is a big question because up to this right. point in the game, right. if you had flunked out, you would have gone home with nothing. Right. right. Uh -uh. <laughs> You get this one right, the worst thing that can happen is you walk out of here with $25,000, okay? I'll take it. That's great. Woohoo! The $25,000 question is coming up when we get back. Welcome back to Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? Our contestant, Kelly Warren, has $10,000. Her husband, Michael, has zero. You selected second grade social studies for your $25,000 question. You ready to see it? it? I feel good about this one. Feeling good. Feeling good. For $25,000, Kelly, here is the question. What man who would later be president was the Commander-in-Chief of the American Army during the U.S. Revolutionary War. What man who would later be President was the Commander-in-Chief of the American Army during the U.S. Revolutionary War? Okay. Alana, locked in. Okay, so, American Army, U.S. Uh, Revolutionary, Revolutionary War. Um, obviously, it, George Washington is, uh, you know, obviously became the first president and uh, led the troops as commander in chief, I believe. So I am going to go with George Washington. Jeff. <laughs> Here's the dilemma. You get it wrong, you guys are a match made in heaven. <laughs> Kelly, I'm sorry, I cannot tell a lie. You have $25,000. <laughs> The freebie question. Uh, the worst thing that can happen right, is right. you leave with $25,000. Okay. The best thing that can happen is you've got $50,000. Pick a subject and let's double your money. I'm going with third grader science. Third grader science. Here we go, Kelly. The $50,000 question is. Which of the following scales is used to measure earthquake intensity? The Richter scale, the Saphir Simpson scale, or the Fujita scale? Which of the following scales is used to measure earthquake intensity? The Richter scale, the Saphir Simpson scale, or the Fujita scale? Alana has locked in. Okay. Which of the following scales is used to measure earthquake intensity? Well, Jeff, since I've never heard of the Fujita scale. Really? I've never heard of it. <laughs> and I've never heard of the, the answer B, too. Severe Simpson scale? Severe Simpson scale, I've never heard of that either. 
Um, I think I'm gonna have to go with the Richter scale because that's, well, it's just basically the only one I know. So, and hopefully if I'm wrong, I will have my savior here to help me. So I'm gonna go with the Richter scale. Saffir Simpson scale is real. It measures hurricanes. I believe you. The Fujita scale measures how much you eat at a Mexican restaurant. <laughs> no, not really. It measures tornado intensity. The Richter scale measures earthquake intensity. You got 50. Unfortunately, you got to return to the class. Now, look at this. You came to sit in the audience today, I know. and you've got $50,000. <laughs> All right, pick another classmate, Kelly. You're my guy. Jacob. All right, Jacob. She's doing pretty good for somebody that didn't plan on taking a This is literally a pop quiz, isn't it? Oh. We're playing for $100,000. Pick a subject. All righty, um, fourth grade math. Fourth grade go. math. Your fourth grade math question worth $100,000, Kelly, is? How many numbers between 10 and 20 are perfect squares? Ooh. How many numbers between 10 and 20 are perfect squares? Jacob has answered. He is locked in. But I'm just sitting here trying to think of, you know, what a, what a perfect square might be, what the possibilities are. Um, I'm not really sure. But I'm going to take a guess because, of course, he can save me, hopefully. I'm thinking maybe uh, that 16 uh, might be a perfect square, just because I'm thinking the whole 4x4 four four is 16. Um, that's the only thing I could think of. That's the only, uh, whew. I, I think 16 might be. So I'm going to go with one, just the 16, or, or just one. That's my answer. OK. <laughs> Before I tell you what the right answer is, how do you feel about that answer? Not good. Not good. Mm. Well, that should give you a little sigh of relief. <laughs> Why do you not feel good about it, Michael? Why don't I feel good? Yeah. Um, because I'm pretty sure uh, 12 and 16 should be squares. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good sign. Kelly. Yay! Kelly. He's not as dumb as he looks. He's dumber. You're right. You got a hundred thousand dollars. We are playing for one hundred and seventy-five thousand dollars when we come back. Our contestant, Kelly Warren, started this show sitting in the audience. Her husband, Michael, flunked out of school on the first question. <laughs> we checked with the producers. We had them swap spots. <laughs> Kelly has now won $100,000. <laughs> yeah. What do you want to do with the money? If you win big, what would you want to do with it? Well, there's something that I've always wanted to do <laughs> that I'm kind of embarrassed to say on national TV, but there's something I've always wanted now to do. Now you have to say <laughs> it, yeah. I've always thought I might want to go to space camp and see what it really? might be like to oh, uh, how cool. be in zero gravity. Well, that'd be let's, really cool. let's get a little more money. All right. Let's go to space camp. <laughs> you have three subjects left. 
before the million dollar question. Pick a subject. Fourth grade Fourth astronomy. Grade astronomy. <laughs> Kelly, you can hear the question for free. Here it is, for $175,000. Approximately how long does it take for the moon to make one full orbit around the Earth? Approximately how long does it take for the moon to make one full orbit around the Earth? Jacob has locked in. You still have your save left. Right, right. Or you could walk out of here with $100,000. Right. Oh. Whew. Any first impulse as to what it might be? Well, whew. it's like another one of those questions where, you know, it should just be obvious to me. Um, it, I mean, I sh should be 100%, I would think. How long does it take for the moon to make one full <laughs> orbit around the Earth? Um, Looks like you should have gone to space camp before you came to the show. <laughs> then maybe you would know the answer. Here's your choices. One day, one month, or one year? I, uh, OK, How long so. does it take Kelly to make up her <laughs> mind? I bet in a shoe store, she's just murder, <laughs> isn't she? So, uh, OK. One day, one month, or one year? I I'm thinking it's, it's a, one month. It's multiple choice. You do have a save. I'm thinking he answered it's one quickly. Month. Or you can walk out uh, of here. I I'm not 100%. I think it's one month. Um, you know, I have uh, 75 to potentially lose, but hey, you only get one chance, right? So I think I'm gonna have to go with, uh, I think I'm gonna have to go with the one month, right? <laughs> Don't ask <He's> me. Not... <laughs> okay, uh, one month. What do you think, Michael? Uh, I stopped thinking. <laughs> <laughs> When did you when did you start? Uh, <laughs> oh, Jeff. You said one month with the thought that if you were wrong, your classmate could save you. Yes. Let's see what he said. He said one month, all which right. means he cannot save you. Okay. It's all or nothing. But that makes me feel good that he thought the same answer. It does? It does. You're optimistic. <laughs> and with good reason. You got $175,000. <laughs> You are a role model Woo. for women everywhere. You know that, don't you? <laughs> she has two subjects left on the way to a million bucks. Nice! <laughs> Jacob has got to return to the classroom. All right. Spencer. Smart kid, Spencer. <laughs> what do you think about Kelly? Pretty smart, huh? Mm -hmm. Well, she's smart, but then again, her husband. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. I have a smart wife too, Michael. It's it's a blessing, right? <laughs> it is a blessing, Spencer. There's two subjects left. Which one out of the two would you say is your best? Well, um, I am good at math, but that's not up there anymore. But you have to use math and measurement sometimes, so. Well, then I, again, I am really good at literature, so I don't really... The two of y'all, we could be on the air for a week answering a question. <laughs> Here's where we stand. You have 175000 You can see this question for free. Okay. Well, uh... This question is worth $300,000, Kelly. <laughs> okay. Well... Pick your poison. Neither one is exactly uh, my forte, but I'm going to go with fifth grade measurements. Fifth grade measurements. <laughs> the $300,000 question is coming up when we come back. Welcome back to Are You Smarter Than 
a fifth grader. Our contestant, Kelly Warren, has $175,000. She still has her save. We are playing for $300,000. You selected fifth grade measurements. Michael, how you feeling? Good. Good. <laughs> That's smart. Keep it to one word answers. <laughs> During the break, she told me, you are a great husband and a great dad. Wow, thank you. <laughs> Awesome. She's a great we're, mother and a great wife. And, and we're having fun here today, some of it at your expense. Yeah. But, you, but you are a rich man in many ways. Not only this, but having a wonderful family like this. You're a rich man. Don't answer this too quickly. Okay. Okay, you, you can still drop out after seeing the question. Okay. For $300,000, Kelly, the fifth grade measurement question is, how many pecks equal one bushel? Oh, there's like a, a rhyme or something about this. Spencer, locked in. How many pecks equal one bushel? I don't think they're talking about pecks. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, uh, I mean, we do, we do need... Thank you. <laughs> well, I absolutely have uh, have no idea, and I'm That's a little honest. I'm a little nervous because he had said that it's you know wasn't necessarily his strong suit. Um, hmm. Okay, you can walk wow. out of here with a hundred and seventy-five thousand dollars. Right. You have That's used of both money. of your cheats. That is a lot, that is a lot of, of money. money. Especially expensive. just a little while ago, your family had nothing on the show, OK? Absolutely. <laughs> you could guess. If you're wrong, Whew. if Spencer's right, he could save you. If he's wrong, you're going to drop from $175 to $25,000. Right. That is a That's, that's giving a back $150,000. Do you know what a peck is? No. <laughs> Do you know what a bushel is? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> I'm not going to bother asking Michael. <laughs> you can walk out of here with $175,000. You've been very logical throughout the whole game. Great. Played it very smart. You have been protecting that save. And it is such a shame to leave, you know, with a save. Well, but it's not a shame to leave with $175,000. No, that's true. That's true. That's true. Um, it's not a million, but it's a lot I of money. I know, I know. I think I'm just going to have to take the money and run like Forrest. You want to lock that in? Four packs equal one bushel. Now, Spencer could have saved you. He had the right answer. Oh, here comes Michael. $175,000. Awesome. Congratulations. Thank you, I am so thrilled for both of you. You've been such a great sport. Thank you. This is the first time we've ever had two people from the same family have to say this in the same show, but I think you're happy about saying it. Yeah. What a great day. Kelly, look into that camera and tell the world. Well, I may have gone to college for 15 years, and I may be a doctor, but I am not smarter than a fifth grader. But I am. I am smarter than my husband. <laughs> and you got $175,000.